Now, we, we state the goal in century-based terms. Um, so we want to keep the momentum going. We want to sort of keep that momentum going. But we want to make sure that the goal is, is specified. Now, we learn through our senses uh, and build pathways. We talked about that before. In our mind, our senses makes that reality. So what I want you to do, if you're sort of comfortable enough to sort of close your eyes, you can do. Prefer to have your eyes open, you can do. Uh, it's entirely up to you. But think about the goal. Think about the, 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 you know, the vision. Imagine you've achieved the goal you set out to achieve. Imagine you playing at the level that you want to play. Um, so you're playing at the level that you want to play. And what you do is, is, is just experience it for a moment. Um, okay, so just what will you see? What will you hear? Uh, what will you feel? Before you think about a plan of getting there, okay, just take some time to imagine what it would feel like to have achieved your goal. What would you see, hear, and feel? If you prefer to write it down, you can do. It's entirely up to you. You can write it down, but just think what you see around you, you know, perhaps you'll sort of be in the dressing room, you'll see certain players around you, um, you'll see the ground you're playing at, uh, you'll see, um, you know, perhaps yourself, you know, scoring a goal or pass, what will you hear, perhaps the crowd roaring, um, you know, the buzz of being there, and what will the feeling be, um, you know, so before you even think about the steps you need to take to achieve that, just take a bit of time to, to sort of, you know, just, just let your mind run free for a bit. And, and just, just don't be a football, by the way, guys. This can be like for other things in life too. It could be academic. It could be, you know, business. It could be anything really. But do take the time to experience and sort of associate. Because if you just like write goals for goals sake, you sort of get that goal fatigue. But what's useful to do, guys, is, is this can be done in a few minutes, by the way. So one thing you can do is sort of like, you know, even for a few minutes, if you have a goal, or even a minute, even a minute, you get up in the morning or before you go to bed at night, um, or just in general, you just take some time to think, okay, just let me reevaluate my goal. And this sort of helps with motivation. Sometimes when it's hard, you're training, you're up in the morning, you guys sort of, you're up in the morning, you're working hard, um, you're putting the effort in it can be easy to sort of lose sight of where you're going in, in terms of, you know, that motivation. And maybe you don't get, you know, um, the game doesn't go like you wanted to go. And, and, and in your sporting career, there's always a great way. The quickest thing we can do, one of the quickest ways we can calibrate um, and get motivated is get that buzz, um, you know, of, of what it's like to feel. So the, the quickest thing we can do is sort of what it, is it like to sort of feel to achieve the goal. And then we can sort of build and start formulating a plan and start thinking of the steps. So, you know, going forward, what I want you to do, what you guys can do, um, you know, the exercise for the week is, is sort of have a look at the game. I sent through to you if you can. Have a look, just have a think about it, how you would play in that game. And also just take some time to associate to your goal, just for your senses, see, hear and feel, get the buzz back, you know, Keep the momentum, keep the buzz going. Um, you know, you've come a long way this year and a lot of you and, and you know, obviously some of you aren't where you want to be, but, but it's a marathon life, not a sprint. Things will change really, really quickly. But what I want you to do, guys, is to keep the momentum going. You just, just take some time. And then what we can do, we can build on that. If you get a chance to read through the exercise that's sort of sent through, you can formulate the plan and reevaluate your plan. You adjust your sales, so to speak. But at least for this week, just take some time for you, you know, yourself to sort of, okay, not just about the steps, just take some time to enjoy it. What would it be like to sort of, you know, uh, and then, then from there, you sort of, you start to develop a plan. You know, what do I need to do? What steps do I have to take to get there? Uh, that's the sort of key uh, for you. What steps do you need to, to take to get there going forward? So uh, I'll, I'll drop you guys a, an email um, anyway and, and to sort of reinforce that. Um, so today, a little bit shorter than usual, probably 10 minutes shorter than usual. Uh, I'm sort of um, going to have to sort of do, do an interview, a couple of interviews tonight as well for 
for radio and, and, and TV for various reasons. But what I'll do, guys, is sort of I'll send you through that and, and sort of read. If you haven't got the book, email me. I'll send it through to you. Um, you know, uh, other than that, so the next week we'll, we'll, we'll build on that and think about the plan, uh, you know, going forward and sort of keep an eye on that. But, but have a go at that, guys. Just, you know, just try, plug away at that this week. What's it feel like to be where I want to be, um, you know, and then sort of leave the, the sort of playing to the goal. Just you, you don't have to always sort of, you know, force that. And just take some time to sort of keep momentum going. Have a look at the sort of video, or those sort of videos, and you go, okay, I can do this. I've got this. What would it feel like to play at that level? You know, and believe in yourselves. That's the most important thing. You've got to believe. You know, things don't always go the way you want to go, um, and, and that's okay. We learn. But you've got to keep that belief, guys. Keep the momentum. You know, anything is possible. You just, you just never know. You've got to keep going. We keep going. Um, you know, I've seen plenty of athletes over the years. Um, they've come out of nowhere. Um, you know, you just got to you, you got to be in it to win it. Stay in the game, guys. Stay in the race. That's the sort of key. Uh, anyway, guys, enjoy today's session. If you train today, um, you know, if you're playing on the weekend, have a good game. If you're not playing, keep training, keep doing the work. And, and it's a marathon, guys, not a sprint. You know, life, it can change pretty quickly, no matter what the situation is. Take care, guys. I'll speak to you soon. Thank you, Jimmy. You guys.